Captain Cupcake? How's my favorite detective today? We're in your neck of the woods, ain't we, monkey? Yeah, just about. I mean, every day after school, me and my friends would be out here crawling all over these rusty pieces of shit. I had to get a bunch of tetanus shots growing up. Yeah, that explains a whole lot. Oh, come on, be nice. I like you. Oh, is this for me? Ooh, detective. It's a dead wigger. Just what I've always wanted. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm Angela, and I'm dead. I don't know who killed me. I don't know why. I just know that this isn't heaven. The owner's wife told me that neither her nor him have been down here since last fall. And looking at these weeds, I believe her. Look, I should have bought some damn bug spray. Ain't trying to get Lyme disease out here. We gotta be airtight before we can even think about bringing Peck in again. If we don't find any proof out here today, Blaney's gonna have a field day with the division. Any jury with half a brain can see the motive in this I one. I know that, I know that. But this guy, He's a saint to these people out here. Unless you got a goddamn, listen to me. Unless you got a goddamn selfie of Peck with Pepper's dead ass laying next to him, we can't touch him. We won't touch him. Captain. Yeah. We got another one. Damn, come on. Corbin Burke. Code has found him amongst the missing persons. Yeah. Yeah. This is the kid whose vault we found out 100 feet from where Angelo was killed. His parents reported him missing the same weekend. Well, he ain't missing no more. Yeah. How's it relate to Pepper, though? The kid had a record. Bingo. There you go. Yeah, but. It's all a little bullshit stuff, though. Weed, prescription drugs. I can't see Peck wasting his time. Yeah, well, well, they didn't get into that junkyard by themselves. And I'll bet my pension on Pepper. There's no way Peck didn't do that. I hear you. You think we got enough to get Judge Marlowe to give us a tap? Let's see what I can do. Seriously. Christopher, I'm a ghost. I can't exactly send you a text message, you know what I mean? All right, touche. I know he wasn't exactly a great asset to the community, but he wasn't a bad kid. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, I actually almost felt bad for him. How'd you hear about Pepper? It's a really small town. You open your ears, you listen, you hear all the gossip. Mm. Besides, it was all over the news today. Did you hear about the second body? There was a second? Yeah, another kid your age. Really? Yeah. 
Why wouldn't they mention that on TV? Well, that's because we kicked the reporters out of the crime scene before we discovered it. Jeez. Makes you wonder how much the media uh, doesn't even know about. Well, they eventually get wind of it. Did you know a kid named Corbin Burke? Wait. Yeah. He wasn't my age, though. He was another kid in the program. The Young Bucks? Yeah. Why am I not surprised? Do you have Wi-Fi? Yeah, I got Wi-Fi. What are we looking for? There's a group photo from last year on the municipal website. There it is. Oh my God, look at my hair. What's wrong with it? Jeez. It looks kind of cute. Cute? I look like a dumbass. Look, there's Will. And there's Corbin. I think his friends called him CB. That's why I didn't recognize the name right away. Man, that's really messed up. That's three of us from Young Bucks. Yeah. killed at the same time as Will? I think the day after you were found in the creek, um, we, we found this wallet on, on the path in the park near that tunnel. And I mean, not even a hundred feet from your body. And no one's seen him since. Do you think we were both killed by the same person? I think it's possible all three of you were. But I, I don't know how long Burke's been dead. But Monkey's uh, doing an autopsy tomorrow. I need a refill.
You okay? at him like that. Yeah, well, that could be me down there. Yeah, good point. Don't worry about that guy. I'm sure he's got a lot of blood on his hands. So I guess no one's gonna know what happened to this guy, huh? The guy I hired him will. <laughs> 